Today's topic is what to expect from a penile insert. A penile insert is also known as penile prosthesis or penile implant. It is a treatment for erectile dysfunction, ED. The surgery is done by placing flexible or inflatable rods in the penis. Who's a good candidate for this procedure? You're a good candidate for penile implant surgery if you have persistent ED that affects your sex life, you've tried a penis pump, you have a history of prostate cancer, or you've previously undergone a prostatectomy. You're not a good candidate if your ED is due to emotional problems. You lack sexual sensation or desires. You have lesions, inflammation, or problems with the skin around your penis. Preparation for surgery. Your doctor will carry out a thorough physical examination and also review your medical history. This will help them decide whether you need a penile implant. If you have cardiovascular disease, diabetes that is not properly managed, or infections like urinary tract infection, your doctor will advise you against a penile implant surgery. Your doctor will consider other treatments like oral medications or penis pump options before going ahead with a penile implant. Types of penile implants. Number one, three-piece implant. This is the most expensive type of penile implant. It involves putting a fluid reservoir under the abdominal wall. The pump and release valve is implanted in the scrotum while two inflatable cylinders are placed in the penis. This creates the most rigid erection. Number two, two-piece implant. In this implant, the reservoir is part of the pump placed in the scrotum. The pump takes more effort to work, but it required less hand dexterity. Erections are a bit less firm than the three-piece implant. Number three, semi-rigid implants. This type uses semi-rigid rods that are not inflatable. Once implanted, they stay firm all the time. It allows you to position your penis against your body to bend it away from your body anytime you want to have sex. The process of implanting semi-rigid rods is similar to the surgery for inflatable implants. Semi-rigid rods, however, put constant pressure on the penis and can be somewhat hard to conceal. What happens during the procedure? The surgery is performed using general anesthesia or spinal anesthesia. A catheter is placed to collect urine and an intravenous line for antibiotics and other medications. The surgeon then makes an incision in the lower abdomen just below the head of your penis. Then, the tissue in the penis, which is usually filled with blood during an erection, is stretched and the two inflatable cylinders are placed inside your penis. If you choose the two-piece inflatable device, the valve, reservoir, and pump are placed in your scrotum. If it's a three-piece device, only the pump is inserted in the scrotum. The reservoir is inserted under the abdominal wall. Finally, your surgeon closes the incision. The procedure takes about 45 to 90 minutes. Recovery. After your surgery, you'll be given instructions on how to use the pump. You may be able to get back to work within a few days, but you'll need several weeks to recover fully. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.